As the world waits breathlessly for the James Webb Space Telescope to be fully functional, its current testing phase has been quite captivating for astronomers, scientists, and space enthusiasts alike. Even in its initial stages, the images that are being produced by the $10 billion spatial beast of a telescope are monumental to the understanding of our origins and what we've missed out on over the centuries due to the lack of technology and time. The first few images of the web are already a testament to how far we've come as a space-adoring community, and there's nothing but a bright future that awaits us as we learn more. Welcome to Space Rumor. In today's video, we'll take a look at images the Webb Telescope revealed of distant galaxies. First Images The Webb was launched from the European spaceport in French Guiana on the 25th of December last year, arriving at its final orbit between Earth and the Sun on January 24th. Since then, it's been calibrating its mirrors and slowly bringing each of them into focus simultaneously capturing images of its surroundings. Over a month after NASA parked the James Webb Telescope at 2nd Lagrange Point, L2, the spot that was intended to be used for optimum accuracy of the web around 1 million miles away, the telescope kicked things off with the first images of a star. The world's most powerful observatory beamed back the image of HD 84406, which we already spoke about in a previous video on our channel. The image wasn't intended for scientific operations, but as a test shot to see how its 18 hexagonal mirrors work together for a single coordinated image. HD 84406 is about 256 light years away from the Earth, and this image served as an initial milestone for the alignment process of the 18 mirrors that are being used by the web, along with its NERC cam. This is where things are just getting started. A Thousand Distant Galaxies Last month, NASA took a more in-depth look at a star with 18 separate images from its mirrors, revealing a mosaic that wasn't entirely of the greatest quality, but it did indicate that the telescope was functional. Webb's first sharp image was released recently, and it's one peach of an image. It shows a spectacular view of a twinkling orange star that has incredible detail and sharpness that many believe pushes the very limits of the laws of physics itself. This image represents the fact that the telescope's 18 separate mirrors are now accurately aligned and acting as one, and according to NASA officials in a statement, the photo is even better than what they had hoped it would be. NASA's test image was aimed at a star 100 times fainter than the human eye can see, around 2,000 light years away. And if you didn't already know, a light year is the distance traveled by light in a year, which adds up to nearly 6 trillion miles or 9.7 trillion kilometers. Now take 2,000 of those, and well, that's how far away this is. The shape of Webb's mirrors and their filters made the scintillating star look more red and pointy but the backdrop was what really took home the gold. The web team released the photograph of the Milky Way star designated 2 mass J17554042 plus 6551277. That was a mouthful. On March 16th, a red filter was used to maximize the visual contrast between the star and the black emptiness of space with dozens of other stars and distant galaxies in the background. Jane Rigby, a web operations project scientist, said in a recent statement, You can't help but see those thousands of galaxies behind it, really gorgeous. Those galaxies are several billions of years old. Eventually, scientists hope Webb will see so far away and back in time that it will only be a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang. Along with a lot of other positive things to say about the new images, the hope and desire of finding new cosmic objects set foot on yet another milestone, and this time, it exceeded predictions. Web Performing Better Than Expected The new images show that the optical systems of the space telescope are working better than the scientists and engineers had hoped. Web engineer Lee Feinberg told reporters at the NASA news conference last month, you not only see the star and the spikes from the diffraction of the star, but you see other stars in the field that are tightly focused, just like we expect, 
and all sorts of other interesting structures in the background. We've already done a very detailed analysis of the images we're getting, and so far, what we're finding is that the performance is as good, if not better than, our most optimistic prediction. Feinberg spearheaded the project's alignment process of the telescope's 18 hexagonal beryllium mirrors, so they function as a single, nearly hexagonal mirror with a diameter of 21.3 feet, or 6.5 meters. The design allowed the system of mirrors to be folded and fit inside a rocket at launch. In comparison, Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, has just one main mirror that's about 7.8 feet or 2.4 meters across. This stage is called the fine phasing stage of the mirror alignments, where every optical parameter is checked to verify that the telescope can successfully gather light from distant objects. The sensitivity of Webb's optics and NERCCAM are so precise that galaxies and stars in the backdrop show up quite clearly. Tour of the Background An extragalactic astronomer, Dr. Jennifer Millard, took a tour of some of the galaxies seen within the image and shared her findings on Twitter, calling them amazing. That's a more than accurate description if you ask me. Among them was a spiral galaxy near the bottom of the image hinting that a neighboring galaxy might be coming in for a collision. Amongst other objects, there were also face-on spiral galaxies that reveal what a galaxy like our Milky Way might look like if we could look at it from above. The image also had evidence of galaxy clusters and recent mergers of two galaxies, some of whom were from a time near to the creation of our universe. Very tiny blobs of light in the distant background were also found in the image, although many of them are barely visible. The closer you look, the more these small blobs appear, and these are the really exciting and the oldest ones," said Dr. Millard on her Twitter post. Although these objects won't be the oldest galaxies Webb can see, as the image was taken with just 35 minutes of exposure, the very first stars and galaxies will need much more time to find. Imagine how full this will be with 10 days of staring into deep space," Dr. Millard continued. Luca Cortessa, an astronomer with the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, ICRAR in short, compared some of the background galaxies to images of the same galaxies taken with Earth-based observatories. He took to Twitter to share his findings and comparisons, saying, Like many astronomers on the planet, I had some fun comparing the amazing hashtag NASA Web alignment image with ground-based optical images. Seeing the difference with real data is jaw-dropping. Well done, and thank you to all the people involved. It will be an exciting ride. These sourced findings just prove how incredibly accurate the James Webb Telescope really is, and considering this is just the first of several many detailed images that are yet to come, the accuracy, detail, and sharpness of the images will only improve. Incredible Accuracy as the $10 billion observatory is now fully focused, after each of the 18 mirror segments were aligned to within the accuracy of a fraction of the width of a human hair, the work of the focusing team isn't even remotely complete. Wow, imagine how accurate that must be! When you look at the figures, the width of a human hair is around 100 micrometers, that's one-tenth of a millimeter. Let's just say it's really, really well aligned. The new images show the unfolded mirrors have been adjusted to an incredible precise viewpoint resulting in a single image in super sharp focus. Marshall Perrin, Webb Deputy Scientist at the Space Telescope Scientist Institute in Baltimore, said at a news conference, We now have achieved what's called diffraction-limited alignment of the telescope. The images are focused together as finely as the laws of physics allow. This feat is just the latest major milestone in the unfolding, focusing, planning, and cooling of the telescope. This stage involved checking every optical parameter as well as having them tested, finding it is performing at or above expectations. According to the Daily Mail, the team also found no critical issues and no measurable contamination or blockages to Webb's optical path. 
The observatory can successfully gather light from distant objects and deliver it to its instruments without any issue. Although there are months to go before Webb ultimately delivers its new view of the cosmos, achieving this milestone means the team is confident that Webb's first-of-its-kind optical system is working as well as possible. Senior Advisor for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency and Webb scientist Mark McCarran displayed his excitement of the progress of Webb and mentioned, Webb was now sending the sharpest possible images to its instruments. That means we can go deep and see lots of detail and deliver the amazing science that was dreamed of decades ago. The background of the stunning bright star image that is filled with galaxies and clusters of galaxies is only a hint at what Webb will show us once it's fully online, and everything goes according to plan in August. What lies ahead? The next stage of the project will be to further refine the alignment and bring several of the Space Telescope's instruments online, according to NASA. Not like it wasn't already super accurate, but I guess since we're already impressed by its initial findings, we're yet to know the true, ultimate accuracy of Webb. Some of the instruments that will come online include the Near Infrared Spectrograph, which will examine the light spectra from distant objects to study more about their physical properties like their temperature or chemical composition. The Mid Infrared Instrument, which is both a camera and a spectrograph that'll capture images and wavelengths that isn't possible with normal human eyesight and the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, which are very precise instruments that'll look for and investigate orbiting exoplanets. The next few stages will take about six to eight weeks and will continue into a final alignment stage in which the web team will adjust any remaining positioning errors of the mirror. Scientists predict that Webb will be able to explore objects up to 100 times too faint for the Hubble Space Telescope within the time span of 10 to 20 years until the fuel for the thrusters that keep it in position run out. The team says things are running as scheduled as work on the telescope's entire optical system will be complete by early May, followed by another two months of instrument preparation. The Space Telescope could start producing its first full high-resolution imagery and science data a couple of months from now, and just like everyone, we just can't wait. So, what are your thoughts on Webb's first detailed images in the background of galaxy and galaxy clusters? And what more do you think Webb will reveal about these distant galaxies? Tell us in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching Space Rumor.